Hello viewers and welcome back to Mix It Up Monday here with Rocket Fist Gaming. We are in another one of these Monday games that we don't know what to expect. If you participate in the Humble Bundle, you might recognize this one. If not, sit back, enjoy, as we let the man with the duh control Amanda the Adventurer. Right there. Mr. Turkey. Hello, hello gamers. We are back with another certified banger. Um all I need is those controls for the crowd. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh. Well, you had a long time there to read that, viewers all one viewer that I'm pretty sure it is ourselves. But that's okay. It's better than zero viewers. Fine. Alright. The duck. This is like weird slide. <laughs> I'm exposing my own box code real quick. Three forty five AM for bed. Just mess with it. Right. Let's pretend like we're a normal human. It's freaking 256 in here. Ten hours. Oh, it's two A's. Two A. Foot. You got a bit. You got a bit of pen on your foot there. What's the letter? No man, I can hear you all. Amanda the Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Today we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? I like apple. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Fork. A spoon. We can't use that. Darn. Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, sure. I'm a pirate! <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the apple. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. Flour, we butter, just need apps. some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Pantry. This will be the truth. Pantry. Great! Let's make a pie! Hmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Where'd the cinnamon come from? Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425... I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. 
I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie! Let it cool down! That's hard. Is that fall to the ground? Are you gonna rewind it? Wait, there's no way I can watch the whole thing again. Okay, I can just do it. No way I actually have to do it again by coming back. That's crazy. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Oh, I gotta remember now. Right. Good job! We can. Nope, try again. Don't you want to help me? It's the pantry. Great! Let's oh, that was a window! Pie. I saw a window. Mm, can you <laughs> smell the apple and the cinnamon? Alright, that's never done it again. Oh. I fix that. Yeah. Am I going to have to hide here at some point? Oh, man. So your so your aunt died. The joy of cooking sheep. Go. Good night. Broken. Another freaking lock, brother. I I don't know any. Oh, wait, there gotta be some numbers around here. Two fifty-seven. I can change the clocks though. I can't see anything. Hold on. Hi, Dad. Oh, the fishing attic. Oh, so we got the um. Female symbol with horns. Female symbol. Uh, male symbol. Two. Hi, Aunt Kate. Thank you so much for the roller skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down. Don't tell him I told you that. Can't wait to see you at summer vacation. Love, Riley. Send it to Kathleen Park for her dedication and achievement in the field of children's library services. Oh. March 12, 1993. Alejandro Phillips. 
Mr. Miss Parge. I was in a long time since you've seen me, I swear. The library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again, to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts. Very, very, very nice handwriting. And eventually, it killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street, and that some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know, a regular old sunburn, so suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it, and I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. I would believe me when I tried to bring it up, but I heard about the kind of research to do, the kind of that normal people don't do. Don't know. Maybe it's just a rumor. You're right. Oh, you have two pages. I already know. Don't be a stranger, I'm your neighbor. No, no. I need your answer with the city tears. Building is still there, tears have been investigated. When did it change? Deep in the war. I need this to read the episodes. used to watch that show, you know, it was really sweet at first, I remember they even used to tell the families with younger kids to watch it. it, it was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess, and then it just got weird, I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance, and it was like that little girl was talking to him, she said some really weird stuff, I know most of the people around here, don't believe in the kind of work you do, not the library, the other kind of work, just don't know if it's the truth. Something really evil was here. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone is watching me sincerely. Johan Cook. Johan Cook. Oh, that was not there, but okay. I guess we're going to make an apple pie. What is that? Maybe that. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't think it was. We're gonna put all the food in. Everything. Do not get to that walkway. I heard Come on, we go. 
you. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the gas. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know? Great, let's make a pie. Hmm, can you smell the apple? Ew, he succeeds in unison. What's the, what's the name of this game here? Is it this? 
Dolphin spawned it, but uh, it, sh it shoots out the apples I put it in. Watch case so like Wait, like why are big YouTubers playing for this? Full walk through no commentary, that's what I like to see. We have a west there, it's just on the side. I didn't get any of this information. It's never happy. I just, I, that video just didn't show me that. You got some, you got some bootleg version of this game. <laughs> Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? That's great! I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Great! I found the perfect card! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat! Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Like Good job! Let's go get that treat! Mmm, everything smells so good. I want to buy my friend some... Buy my friend some cookies. The big can shoulders. you show me where the cookies are? Cookies. A Those cake right look there. so tasty! We oh. just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! Mailing they cookies. live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait. I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? Like Maria.
That's why I didn't remember it. Never said this. She's always my friend. Alright. I'm gonna name him Derek. Um, let's see. No, that's not my friend's name. I swear it was Maria. You have to know their name. Shut up. Hey, Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. Okay. It was just like, oh yeah, it's a ballot. Then it <laughs> switches it over. What did they do? Kate. I don't Jake. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. It was store. Convenience store. Bakery. I swear that was it. BBF, I'm fucked. Good job! BBF. Great! I found BBF. Good job! Those look so Three forty five. 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 That's huge. Question one. I got on the slide. Knee in the knee. That's right. Willie hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Mom. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. We have his knowledge. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? Uh, surgeon. I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The to doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Please Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? Well, I don't think his bone's injured, so that's great. That's fine! Now we can look at Wooly's bone. Will that crash really game? Oh, 
Oh yeah, you thought. Yes, sir. I also have the extra numbers in the end, just in case. Mm. Well, I just threw it. Alright, that's, tri that's trippy, you know? I, I, I said it to that earlier in the game. That's crazy. It's a new cake thing. Oh, changed. Tick tock, tick tock. Catching up with Sam. Sam Colton was supposed to be a father to the town. Manager is tired of Some fresh struggling writers all start with the adopted daughter and new outlook on life recently. I caught up with Sam over a stack of famous strawberry banana pancakes. We chatted about the value of imagination every day, adventures in the future may happen. Sam the rush all the night on channel. Tick tock. I'm sorry, I'm three. What the heck? I can open it. Hmm. What's this? Put the safe there before. Uh, three forty-five. Not big brain. <laughs> three forty-five is going to be like the answer to everything. How is this supposed to be?
how is this supposed to be figured out? Probably can drag them as well. Oh, no, I can't. I got some bootleg version of the game. So. things it's like how would I ever figure that out? Unless you're just like clicking all over the place. Everything rocks. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. I don't know, Wooly. You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? No, that looks fine. Are you doing this on purpose? What is making that bad smell? You, you're right! This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Look at the tree stump. If it's not alive, what is it? It's gone. I don't think we should be talking about this. That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job. Men can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways, too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? 
the gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush. I don't think that was it. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't nice. it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? Nice. It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Hmm. Sometimes I feel myself riding. But it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Everything rot? Not like stones rot. Rust is kind of like rot. Rocks are like natural, they're not organic. No, they like they are organic. I'm gonna say not. Why won't you answer my question? I did. Right. I don't know. You <laughs> have to tell me. Tell me! <laughs> don't you want to be my friend? Please, answer my question. I think nah. it might See, be See, it types whatever it wants. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote nah. I said yes. Stones don't rot, I'm telling you. I already figured what the code was in the clock said. I thought that was a lamp first. I don't know why. How are we gonna hide? I guess I lost. <laughs> well, viewers, that was Amanda, the adventurer. Um, that was a little unbearable at times. Uh, I found everything all on my own. Uh, I did indeed look up the video myself. Um, yeah, Willie didn't deserve that. He got raptured or something. He just kind of vanished. And then we got killed by, I don't even know. It wasn't Amanda or Willie either. Anyways, viewers, hope you had a good time, and um, I'll see you on the other side.